Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in maybe the most t symbolic and telling news I've seen come out of the comic book industry in a long time, DC launches a new website and drops comics from their URL and social me social handles. This according to comicbook.com. So what does that mean? That means DC Comics is now DC. Their new URL that they are operating on is dc.com. So this again according to comicbook.com. DC has launched a new website under the dc.com URL. Note, no longer DC Comics which will serve as the new digital home to explore the DC multiverse, which will feature weekly drops of new video content, editorial deep dives, fan discussions, digital experiences, and more. In addition to having a web, pa a web page hub, dc.com will allow fans to have a user profile that can also extend across the DC in the DC universe, infinite comics gallery. So really the only mention of comics is that last sentence of the story. And, it, what it what does it tell us? It tells us that DC now they're they're focusing on they want the thing that people focus on to be their movies, their TV, their video games, their web content, and comics are so low on the list of the media that they're really trying to push that it's not even in the title anymore. So just just think of it. Just think of the fact that you're going to go to DC's website. And the, you're not going to be guided to comics. You're not going to be com guided to this week's releases. Any of that. There may be, maybe there's a tab that you can s click on that says comics. It's like, hey, we have comic books too. Check it out. But it is no longer going to be the focus on, on what they're driving with their characters and their IPs. They're going to be caring more about the movies and TV shows because, I mean, well, f frankly, they're a lot more profitable than the comic books. And this is a first step in starting to think is, or starting to illustrate that maybe they don't view the comic books as the driving story force that that per, that puts these movies forward. You know, it was always the idea was that you, the movies are always making the money, but the comic books are where the stories come from. So you mine those comics for stories. DC's got, you know, gosh, literally a century of of worth of of comic lore that you can draw from so that could keep hollywood going for a really long time you know how badly do they really need new content from comics and let, let's face it the content currently coming out of comics these days is really really subpar and the fact that they're dropping the the comics from their moniker it doesn't sound like they have any faith in that coming back which is sad because for you know especially for myself like i'm a independent comic creator myself and anyone as much as much hate as a lot of the a lot of we, we like to just throw on the big two companies if you're an indie guy you know that the strength of your product really depends on marvel and dc being strong because if your plan is to create a comic book and ultimately get that comic book into stores the thing that brings people into the stores are the big characters spider-man avengers batman justice league uh all that type stuff that's what brings people in that's what gets their eyes on the comic book shelves and you just got to hope that your book sitting on the shelf alongside of those big ones uh, can maybe get their attention via cover art, you know, the look of your character, whatever it is, and that they'll give your book a chance too when they've come in to, to buy something else. That is, this is really, in my opinion, this is very big news and very telling for the direction of DC Comics and the comics industry in general. So this is something to kind of watch. We'll see when this website uh, does does launch and i'm sure it's probably going to take a, a little while a little tweaking to get it the way they really want it to look but ultimately i'm curious to see you know what this means for the comics for the dc comics going forward i mean how much more can they downsize dc has already been kicked out of their studio and they're basically operating out of a tiny little closet where they all share a desk and their comics line right now uh, is producing fewer books than, than they've produced possibly during since you know probably since the 60s or 70s before they acquired, you know, all the licenses that they have now, but yeah, DC Comics are really they're really in the straits. And what are they going to do? How are they going to pull themselves out? Is it are are the creators out there? Is do they have it in them to turn this around and and turn DC Comics into something that they can be that the company be proud of again that they can put front and center, or are they just going to be forever regulated to the little kids' table until finally they're just they're just gone when we don't have. DC Comics is a publishing entity anymore. So interesting stuff. Let's talk about in the comments below. Uh, what do you think this means for DC going forward? We got to get you saying DC now. There's no more DC Comics. Uh, do you think this is the right move? Do you think that you know, they just should be focusing on what makes the money and the comics should just be happy to be a part of it? Or do you think that it's wrong for them to turn their 
attention away from really the thing that built the house. They're not making the money right now, but DC, the foundation of DC Comics was the comics. That's what that's what put them on the map. That's the thing that started it all. And in my opinion, I think that they should respect the legacy of where their company comes from and and they should keep the comics as part of their name. But that's my opinion. I want to hear from you guys. So let's talk about it in the comments below. While you're down there, do all the usual stuff. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would love to have you. Share this video with your friends. And I appreciate you guys sticking around for the end. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.